In Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 5, Deuteronomy chapter 7 verse 5, the Bible says, But thus shall ye deal with them. You shall destroy their altars, and break down their images, and cut down their groups, and burn their graven images with fire. In the book of Exodus chapter 34 verse 13, Exodus chapter 34 verse 13, the Bible says, But you shall destroy their altars, break their images, and cut down their groups. Close your eyes. Say this prayer point loud and clear. Say, any power supervising my case in any evil altars, run mad and die in the name of Jesus. Any power supervising my case in any evil altars, run mad and die. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Today we are going into warfare prayers. And today's topic is January prayer assignment. January prayer assignment. The topic is settling ablaze witchcraft altars. Settling ablaze witchcraft altars. January prayer assignment is a, it's a monthly prayer program in this uh, ministry. We normally run out this program every month. Prayer assignment for each month. But for this month, is January prayer assignment. And today's topic is settling ablaze witchcraft altars. I decree into your life every evil altar that has been erected against your family progress. I command that evil altars to die in Jesus' name. We pray, Amen. So, in case you are just watching us for the very first time, you are most welcome. Kindly subscribe to my channel. In today's program, we are going to set ablaze all kinds of witchcraft altars that have been opposing good things in our lives. Many evil altars built up many years ago, unfortunately, are still affecting lives and destinies today. Some of these altars have remained difficult to pull down, to destroy, and to set ablaze. No matter how strong that altars erected against you and your families are, may the blood of Jesus and may the fire of God bring down that altar in the name of Jesus Christ. May the fire of God destroy and set ablaze that evil altars in Jesus' name. One of the signs that you are operating on an evil altar is when you keep experiencing repeated problems, repeated afflictions. For example, someone shared with me recently that every January, he normally go to the hospital to address his health problems. Altars have destroyed and rendered people's destiny useless. In Judges chapter 6, Judges chapter 6, the Bible says Gideon tears down the altars of Baal that have been erected in his father's house. And the Lord empowered Gideon to deal with the powers of his father's house. Brethren across the world, is there any evil altars in your life that you need to pull down, you need to destroy, you need to set a place today? If yes, may the Lord arise and destroy the potency of this evil altar operating in your life, operating in your family today in Jesus' name. How do you deal with these ancestral altars? Number one, give your life to Christ. Two, repent and confess your sins. Three, receive the baptism of the Holy Ghost. Four, use targeted prayers to destroy their evil effects upon your life and family in Jesus' name. Our instruction, embark on seven days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Embark on seven days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Kindly read the following Bible verses. Colossians chapter 2 verse 14 to 15 and Amos chapter 3 verse 14. Amos chapter 3 verse 14. Close your eyes. Take prayer point number one loud and clear. Say, every wickedness done against me at birth on any evil altars be reversed by fire in the name of Jesus. Every wickedness done against me at birth on any evil altars be reversed by fire. 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 Every wickedness done against my life at birth on any evil altars. Be reversed by fire. Be reversed by fire. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number two. Say, I command Holy Ghost fire. Destroy the family shrine or snake deity attacking or affecting my progress. In the name of Jesus. I command Holy Ghost fire to destroy the family shrine or snake deity affecting my progress. Destroy them by fire. 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 In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number three. 
Say, O house, O shrine, I command you to release all my swallowed goodness in the name of Jesus. O house, O shrine, I command you to release all my swallowed goodness in the name of Jesus. O house, O shrine, I command you to release all my swallowed goodness. 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 O house, O shrine, I command you in the name of Jesus. Release all my swallowed goodness for this year. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number four. Say, I set ablaze every evil altar from my father's house and mother's house, injuring my success in life. In the name of Jesus, I set ablaze every evil altar from my father's house and mother's house, injuring my success in life. I set it ablaze every evil altar. Working against my progress, I set to ablaze. I set to ablaze. I set to ablaze every evil altar from my foundation into my sources, into my progress. Your time is up. I set to ablaze. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer number five. Say, any village altars attacking my progress, I set to ablaze by fire in the name of Jesus. Any village altars attacking my progress, I set to ablaze by fire. I set to ablaze by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Any village altars, any village altars, any town altars, any street altars attacking my progress, I set to ablaze. I set to ablaze. I set to ablaze. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Any village altar, any street altars, any street altars, any town altars attacking my progress, I set to ablaze. I destroy you. I pull you down. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer for number six. Say, any ritual activities done against me at any evil altars, fire of God, destroy it in the name of Jesus. Any ritual activities done against my destiny at any evil altars, fire of God, destroy it. 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 In Jesus' name, they are destroyed. Amen. Prayer number seven. Say, any problem attacking our family glory from any ancestral altars, be destroyed by fire in the name of Jesus. Any problem attacking our family glory from any ancestral altars, be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Open your mouth and pray. Be destroyed by fire. Any problem attacking our family glory from any ancestral altars, be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. Be destroyed by fire. In Jesus' name, they are destroyed. Amen. Prayer number eight. Shout it loud and clear. Say, fire of God, paralyze every evil altar. That is still active in my life and my family. In the name of Jesus, fire of God, paralyze every evil altar, every strange altar, every marine altar, every household wickedness altar that is still active in my life and in my family. Destroy it, paralyze it, paralyze it, paralyze it. Any evil altar going contrary to, you, to the word of God in my life, be, be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed, be paralyzed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer number nine. Shout it loud and clear like a wooden lion. Say, any evil altar transaction affecting my marriage and finances, I set you ablaze in the name of Jesus. Any evil altar transaction affecting my marriage and finances, I set you ablaze. I set you ablaze. I set you ablaze. I set you ablaze. Any evil altar transaction affecting my marriage and finances, I set you ablaze in Jesus' name. Prayer point number 10. Say, let the fire of God defeat any demonic altars fighting against good things in my life. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of God defeat any demonic altars fighting against good things in my life. In the name of Jesus, let the fire of God defeat any demonic altars fighting against good things in my life. I command you to die. I command you to die. Strange altars fighting against the power of God in my life, fighting against the blessing of God in my life. I command you to die. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Prayer point number 11. See, you altars of poor finishing operating in my life. I set you ablaze in the name of Jesus. You altars of poor finishing affecting my life, operating in my life. I set you ablaze. I set you ablaze. I set you ablaze. You altars of poor finishing. I set you ablaze in Jesus' name. Prayer number 12. Say, you altars of backwardness, failure, and misfortunes. I pull you down completely. Begin to demonstrate it with your two hands. Say, you altars of backwardness, failure, and misfortunes in my life. I pull you down completely. 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 In Jesus' name, they are pulled down. Amen. Prayer point number 13, the last prayer point. Say, you altars of poverty, struggle and non-achievement, affecting the plans of God for my life, die by fire in the name of Jesus. You altars of poverty, struggle and non-achievement, affecting the plans of God for my life, 
die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. Die in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I am sure that uh, this broadcast has blessed you. Certainly have blessed all kinds of evil altars, witchcraft altars, marine altars. I pray today, may the Lord release you from the grip of that ancestral altars that is hindering your greatness in life. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. If this broadcast has blessed you, do not hesitate to share to your friends and family. Once again, it's Evangelist Joshua from Lagos.